All right, folks. This is a story I saw on another site, uh, or saw the link to it on another site. Here we go. Olympic horse bolts after bridle accidentally removed at the tack check. This tells me a few things right there, just in the headline. Um, this horse was uh, just used for eventing. It was not properly trained at the time. It was nervous and it was scared. And when the bridle came off, didn't know what to do. And it panicked. Proper training would have prevented that. I guarantee it. Proper training, proper riding, the whole nine yards would have prevented that. So anyway, they've got a picture sequence here. Uh, this was a uh, dressage event. And... Uh, <laughs> says her horse's bridle was accidentally removed during the post-test tack check. Post-test tack check. Uh, he bolted around the show ground injuring himself. No shit. All right. The Swedish combination of Juliet Rammel, that's the writer, <clears throat> and Burial K.H., had finished their Grand Prix test. And, of course, uh, the tack has to be checked to make sure they've got the horse properly bolted down to the ground. Man, I can't stand all the tack they put on these horses. I really can't. There is absolutely no reason for it. There is no excuse for it. Look at all that shit on the horse's mouth. A bridle and bit, great, fine, no problem. I don't have a problem with a simple bridle and bit for the most part. I do have a problem with some things uh, bit-wise, but all this shit should never be necessary to control a horse no matter what. Uh, <laughs> it's it's just it's it's wrong. All right. So anyway, uh, the horse was wearing a fly mask. You, you can uh, see it over the horse's ears here, and there's a veil down the front of the horse's face. And so here they are taking it off. You can see right here, right where my uh, cursor is, that. The fly mask is pulling on the head stall. Now look at the way this freaking moron is pulling this thing off. That is stupid. What did they expect to happen? Jeez. Okay, right there. Pull it on the horse's ears. Pulling the head stall over his ears. The horse was already all nervous and jittery to begin with from the idiotic event that they put it through. And so now they're going to make it worse. All right. So the head stall comes off. You can see it right there. It's falling. You can see all the d d torture crap on the horse's mouth right there it's starting to fall out the horse is going to spit the bits out and the girl that was supposedly riding uh is jumping off the horse all right great she's getting off the horse here's the supposed groom who did this idiocy Standing in front of the horse. Oh my God, what just happened? All right. The Swedish support team were on hand to try to stop him. Oh, that's going to help. Let's get one, two, three, four, 
five people rushing in to this horse's head to try to calm him down. I'm sorry, that's not going to work. All of a sudden, the horse is already scared. It's already nervous. It, it's already in a bad state of mind. And here come all of these people rushing in at this horse. You think it's going to calm down? No, it's not. It's going to get more scared. If it's pissed off, it's going to get more pissed off. Now, let's go back. Notice where the reins are over the horse's neck. Notice where the reins are over the horse's neck. They're pulling on the reins for some reason. I don't know why. It's not going to help anything. And now the horse breaks free and it's loose. This is strictly the flight instinct of the horse. It's trying to get away. It's trying to find some place where it can feel safe. It's got all these people around, all this noise around, all the hubbub going on. People trying, probably trying to chase it down and get in front of it, scaring it even more. And this is going to get all tangled up in this horse's legs because... The reins are still over its neck, and so the bridle assembly, that whole rigmarole of crap they had on that horse's face, is banging around, and it's still there. And away the horse goes, this is a scared horse. All right? There's nothing calm about this horse. I guarantee you, this horse has never, ever been a calm horse in a show ring like that, ever. All right, I can guarantee you this horse has been nervous in every show it's ever been in. Um, and that is a lack of training. It's a lack of work on the part of the people who own that horse. It's a lack of work on the part of the people who ride that horse. It's a lack of... It's a lack of understanding of horses in general. Um, and this is what happens with a lot of horses that are used for nothing but showing off at an event. Okay? Now, I've seen dressage riders. I've seen videos of dressage events. I've seen riders and horses that are a team in those events. You never see the reins move. You barely see the rider's feet move. And that horse moves with precision because the rider and the horse are a team and they have done training. And the horse is calm. It's not dancing around. It's not nervous. Because the rider has taken the time to train the horse. Jesus. Uh, you see things at, at, you know, you watch videos of, of horse races. You watch horse races on television. You'll see this jockey on a horse and the groom leading the horse and the horse is going sideways down the track and then you get to the starting gates and the horse rears up doesn't want to go in the gates it's because the only thing the horse has ever been trained to do is run it hasn't been trained on the ground it hasn't been trained to yield it hasn't been trained to do anything but run and this horse has not been trained to do anything but move a certain direction at a certain gait uh, with the with the pulling of the double reins on the double bridle and the stabbing with the spurs and I guarantee you this bitch this entitled little 
bitch has never been on that horse for anything other than arena riding. And I guarantee you, she didn't put her own saddle on. She didn't put the bridle on. She didn't put the fly mask on. The only time she ever touches that horse is to get in the saddle in the arena. I guarantee you that. All right? And this moron, this total freaking idiot, has probably never touched the horse other than to wash it and braid its mane. Oh, look at that. Um... This is just stupid. Absolutely stupid. Um, I'm not against show events or anything like this, but when morons and tiny little freaking rich girls like this, who ought to be wearing a pink helmet and a pink suit, get on a horse and think they're doing something because they can stab the horse in the ribs and yank on one of the two reins and get the horse to side pass a certain number of steps in just the right angle at just the right gate, think they're doing something, uh, and they've never done anything more with a horse than that, it's, it's just wrong, people. It's wrong. If you want a horse to do something, great. Be a partner with your horse. Learn your horse. Teach your horse to trust you. Uh, this horse has no trust in anybody. Um, it doesn't trust the people around it. It doesn't trust the rider. Uh, it certainly doesn't trust its surroundings. This horse is in full panic mode. Right there. That's a full panic. That horse is out of here. So anyway, that's my rant. Little rich girl, get off your damn horse. Learn what horses are. Stupid broad, get off the horse. Learn what horses are. Jesus. I, I hate this shit. All right, I'm done. Later.